no behind the scenes yes and <laughs> welcome back to the react lord pod episode 22 i'm your react lord nathan and i am your react lord v <laughs> thank you for staying as long as you have if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel uh <laughs> drop a like and so subscribe sorry. uh send a link to your mom send yeah. a link to your parents your dad your stepdad yeah. all of them all to your of weird them, uncle Just send um, it to all of them yeah i was telling you earlier what's weird is like the watch time's gone up mm -hmm. in our in our videos which is nice thank you, you guys for sticking around for and? those of you that do i swear to god i you know what nathan this yes and and yes and and i went to gonna arts, get me. i went to art high school yeah and, you and did I, I'm telling you, you're feeling exactly how I felt in high school. Yes? Yeah. And? It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, they force you to play games. I did not go to an arts high school, so I don't know how that is. I don't know. It's fun. And? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a great time. I, I think when I look back on my, uh, on my experience in, in art school, it was cool, like, being exposed to all of that but you know kids are dumb and you put us all together we're just dumber yeah i imagine why is my dog's fighting in the background right now this is great behind you Nate. <laughs> <laughs> i feel so bad for that little guy sometimes he will just get jerked and like <laughs> spun across the room yeah but he he like <laughs> always does something that like starts it oh no he's definitely the instigator yeah. he's got the napoleon complex he might be like 17 pounds versus like the 87 pound you know mm -hmm. boy but in, in the beginning of the day it's always saying starting it you know <laughs> but at the end of the day it is sometimes sebastian finishing it mm -hmm. what's up buddy anyway this is our new co-host sebastian welcome to the pod permanent co-host permanent yeah not temporary no it's forever a fixture of the pod? Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we jump into the pod, we do got a lot on the docket. A lot's happened this week. But uh, Nathan, personal news? A lot news. has happened. Got any personal news, Nate? Um, personal news. Uh, the winter break for the middle school is ending. No, you got to go back to work. Yeah, I got to go back to work, unfortunately. No. no. Um, not that I haven't al just already been working. You know, two job Andy over here. Yeah. But... Holiday season's over, dude. Yeah, holiday it's time season to time is to pack over. it up, go back. In. Mm -hmm. Please don't. Um, other than that, though, the actual whole winter break was nice. I I did have a good time. I was absolutely lazy. Um, there's so much more that I wanted to do, but it's yeah, okay. Same. I'll get to it. I I told myself I was gonna do a lot over this break before mm -hmm. I go back to grad school. Guess how much of it I got done. 25%? None of it. None of it. I was going to oh, rewrite no. things because like this, this semester is supposed to be like the comprehensive exam where it all comes together. Yeah. And I had a bunch of like theory stuff I wanted to rewrite and rework uh, be just because of suggestions, you know, because uh -huh. I have to submit it again as, as a final and have a bunch of re rewrites on it. I didn't do that. So I got, I got to definitely stop. <laughs> He's trying to play with me right now. I definitely got to like buckle down. I don't even know because spring, there's no breaks. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's spring break. That's the only break in the spring semester. Uh -huh. That's no it. breaks, huh? That's and it. It's five days, brother. And like fall, you get Thanksgiving break, which is five days. You get two weeks off in the fall. Mm -hmm. But in May, you only get the four days. That's it. Four or five days off. So like yeah. I'm going to have to just use that time and <laughs> do everything I was supposed to do during fall break do you though do you have to do i want to pass my comprehensive exams <laughs> yeah dude i got it okay fair, i mean fair, i'm fair. pretty sure because you know to pass the comprehensive exams and shit like i can't submit the same work i did during the, the grad process right because True. they probably I, told you stuff to edit right yeah like yeah. i think my lowest grade was a b but i mean if i submit that b for like the next assignment it's going to be a c or something you know what i mean like because not a lot has changed or improved on it so mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just kicking myself i should have done that um but oh, i did you got this last it's january fucking ninth <laughs> 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 school starts well i guess i still have like a week until school starts so i could try to find some time yeah between today and tomorrow I have a week. Oh, I thought you said the ninth. Today's the ninth, dog. You think a n the ninth's a week from now? <laughs> no, today's the eighth. 
No, it's not. Is it? Well, I mean, yeah, but that's still not a week away. No, it's not. I just I got confused. That was my bad. Is it today? Today is the eighth. Okay, I was gonna say. Yeah, it's definitely like the eighth or ninth today. Mm -hmm. You thought it was like the third? No, oh, dude, we just celebrated the anniversary of January sixth. Get with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched Joe Biden like give those presidential citizen things. I did not see that. It was boring. It was Sounds really boring. boring. I don't even know what you just said. The it was Hassan wasn't streaming. Why wasn't he <laughs> streaming? You know, he's like, not streaming I, today either. I didn't know what to do with myself, and you know, NBC and CNN and Fox—they all run a twenty-four hour news. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I stay plugged jumped in. in. Yeah, I stayed plugged in. Yeah, no, on January sixth, though, that was the day that the House Republicans finally got their ducks in a row and uh, got McCarthy into the House as their speaker. So oh, they they did it. Oh. You missed that? I did. What? I thought they were still doing it. No, we, I watched it live with Hassan. Oh, okay. It was pretty good. It was definitely like, it was It was interesting. We'll get there, actually. It's on okay. the... It's <laughs> on the agenda. It is on the agenda. I wanted to start a little bit lighter than that, though. Yes, I agree. Because that's yeah. like heavy. It's like policy shit. I don't know. Anyway, I have palate cleansers before that, too. Be, you know, I didn't want to jump in with just that right away. So... <laughs> Uh, let's start with something a little bit lighter and revisit a topic. Yeah, let's start with politics and education. What? No, we're not starting. Oh, you mean the Twitter? Yeah, okay. I was just kidding. It has nothing to do. Well, yeah, no, I, guess, I, I don't. It's not. It's not. It's not, trip. dude. It's really not. But um, I want to revisit the Hyperloop because we talked about that a few pods ago, Nathan. Uh -huh. um, and I, I don't know. Um, we were kind of like hypothesizing and we also were reading an article where they were taking out the uh, Hyperloop, um, what was it, the decal in the front of the Tesla building um, okay. in, what, Palo Alto or whatever, in, in uh, California? Do you remember this story at all? No, not at all. Holy shit. I'm okay, sorry, well, but um, I believe you, they're taking off the thing in the Tesla yeah. and the Hyperloop looks like crap. I'm uh, not sure. Yeah, so um, this is a video that came out of the Hyperloop that's in Vegas, and I thought it was a pretty interesting thread. So let's start with watching the video. This is the Vegas Loop, Elon's answer to traffic. It's gonna save about 15 minutes or 20 minutes of walking. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. We take the escalators downstairs and pick up a test. It's a walking this loop. This is the central station. So this is what the Vegas Loop. It does look awfully familiar to other infrastructures that we have seen. Say the least. <laughs> By boring and Tesla, looks like. Going west? Yep, you can go number two. Awesome, thank you. Yes, Howdy. Sir. How you doing? Good. So you get in line to get picked up by a Tesla Uber. Uh, Boyd? Yeah. Okay, you're going to ride with these yeah. people. Perfect. Hi, how's it going? And here's our car. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ride. Thank you. It's, you. it's not self-driving? It's no. not self-driving. It's a guy. Someone's driving them. It's an Uber. Good. It's an Uber. Cool, cool. Surviving it? Or just starting? No. I would love this, actually. Yes. <laughs> this job. Oh, yeah. I love the job. These guys are such riding hard right now, dude. This is so cool. Lights and rainbows. What if, yeah. what if actually it is the Neuralink in the human being driving it's actually the tesla using the neural link linking to the brain of the driver and the guy and the driving in the car and he's driving the car meaning the car's driving itself five ed no dude not based, <laughs> not based. <laughs> just like that you said a 20 minute walk just like that just like that love it thank you no problem. Thank you guys have a great day you too vehicles will go down <laughs> and they go down into the loop by far one of the coolest things at CES. One of the things that you're going to see the most on TikTok. Oh, and Instagram that must probably suck for CES. It must be so boring there. Yo, okay. So here's the deal though, right? So this has existed in the past. You've seen it. Um, it's a subway, right? I mean, it's <laughs> worse than a subway. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It this is claustrophobic. Again, this is politics at politics and education on Twitter. It's not exactly a political or educational friend, but I mean, for the most part, they're pointing out here, right, that this is a tunnel <laughs> for cars 
it's not revolutionary. <laughs> no. The, the Hyperloop is not revolutionary. Um, it's essentially a subway tunnel that Uber drivers have exclusive access to. Um, and the poster of this this tweet says, thank you for finding cheaper ways to, to bore tunnels. <laughs> now let's move the cars out of the way and, and lay some rail tracks. <laughs> is that true, though? Like, did they really find an easier or cheaper way to bore tunnels? Because... I guess that yeah. could be like, yeah. I, I mean, mean, that's that's good, right? that's what the that's what this this uh, this tweeter is suggesting, right? So they mm -hmm. they quoted back in January of twentieth of twenty twenty two. I know Elon Musk wants to you know his tunnels to move cars, but is there any way that we just can't use this technology to make the tunnels to lay railroads down? And I think logistically that makes more sense for the application of the tech because you know apparently yeah the tech has you know helped bore holes a bit you know a little faster and i guess so i mean if we're trusting this tweet i i would love to see like some explanation on that like how much cheaper oh, you don't believe that well, no no that's yeah i mean he's got the technology to like go through to make tunnels faster but that's not even the mm -hmm. most impressive part about this for elon it was supposed to be a fix to like traffic right oh totally totally like but i don't think I, I he think would want with the given being that it didn't really do anything yeah um and if like the cool thing that that is to come out of this is that if there's a cheaper way to bore tunnels because i know with boring tunnels or like going through any type of earth or stone and stuff that I imagine that's really difficult you know I know they used to use dynamite but I, I mean <laughs> I imagine we're drilling now or oh, like, yeah, what, yeah, like yeah. what makes oh, this yeah, yeah. cheaper is could that be revolutionary or yeah. is, is that like a non-starter because Elon doesn't own any railroads he doesn't give a shit Right. So it's like the crux of the technology of, or whatever, right, to make these specifically designed tunnels for Tesla. I'm sure whatever technology does that is not even probably standard, in, in, industry standard, right, for like yeah. the city or the, the like, state to use to bore tunnels for railroads. That's probably a very specific, you know, thing that they have kind of figured out uh, for what they do already, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know. This guy is pointing out that the system required for the Las Vegas uh, Hyperloop takes about 100 people to run and only moves for 4,500 people in an hour. Is that um, that's not good? No. no. The Atlanta, okay. as this guy points out, the Atlanta airport, you know, airport people mover moves 250,000 people a day and only needs a handful of people. So like you can have a tram do this better, not mm -hmm. even a train or like, okay. you know, like a state thing or a government you know, subsidized infrastructure be created. You can have a tram at your local airport do something like this. That's better. <laughs> it has so, to be because of the the size of the vehicle, right? Because the Tesla yeah. can hold five people, whereas like a tram can hold like exactly two hundred. So the application is just flawed, okay. um, which I thought was just funny. We talked about the Hyperloop. If you would have remembered our last conversation, I think it would have been a little bit more impactful because we were kind of predicting that it was going to be obsolete. Mm -hmm. um, and now it, it is, you know, at least going viral on TikTok and renewing its its interest and relevancy back in the zeitgeist. So I don't know. Are they going to make another Hyperloop in some other touristy population like downtown L.A.? You know, and I don't know. Maybe. I, I highly doubt it will happen, though. I feel like it's <laughs> it's a miracle that this got finished at all. Yeah, that does, probably isn't even finished. That probably wasn't even the like the concept. That's just like what ended up happening. It's crazy uh, because Tesla, it's just Uber. an on ramp. Like it's yeah. just an, an on ramp that goes to a tunnel, and then and then it pops up on the other side and goes totally. like, "You saved five minutes of walking time." And, and it's like, "Did I?" And that's not <laughs> that's not what I. I originally saw advertised back like two three years ago no i remember no it was supposed to be self-driving streamlined it was supposed to be streamlined it was Efficient, a tunnel beautiful and it was going to be like automated yeah. right why do they have 100 people i thought that was going to be like a you show up in your own car your own car drives itself down elon's tunnel loop thing <laughs> yeah i'm always for job creation don't get me wrong i like <laughs> I like the idea of, you know, employing 100 people a day. Yeah. It's great. But he's it's employing awesome. 100 people a day because he failed. 
<laughs> it should be more efficient. Um, it should be cooler. It should be way more awesome uh, than what ever that on ramp glorified rainbow tunnel was. Yeah. I don't know. Um, anyway, I thought that would be kind of interesting to bring back up uh, in in other worlds of online job creation and just like internet virality did you see that jake sucky do you even follow jake sucky i know you're not online um too much but they did post that several streamers and creators were wanting to fund their own valorant teams so okay. we had this guy's toast myth timmy shroud and even ninja signing valorant rosters uh to compete which is fun right uh -huh. do you what do you think about that initial stuff before i bring my ankle into it i do we like this idea of like, you know, independent, independent creators that have done well for themselves getting into this esports world? Mm -hmm. Um, hey buddy, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Okay. Well, I think it's awesome because I definitely think that the content creation should be in the content creators hands. I think they should definitely be getting. Uh, majority of the profits that they generate and also it gets it out of the hands of all these like scam companies too yes i wasn't, <laughs> so I was like, I I wasn't even know. thinking about that like that's that's what you foresee happening with this well yeah like i mean if it's independent yeah absolutely okay. i could see that being the direction that this takes please uh place that it's cheaper than league a uh, team that mr b started says jake sucky uh and he's been saying for a while that he'd love to see sort of more independent people come out like moist critical has a team already the Mo moist esports mm -hmm. um i want to see them keep it in the gaming space this is what i love to see um and again it's creating jobs this is content creation jobs right these people are willing to pay salaries of individuals i thought it was a cool story it's pretty sick i wish they i wish there was a way to see that context through the tweet without having to have that background knowledge because i wasn't even thinking about that but i saw when i my initial reaction when i saw the tweet was um like just acceptance at face value like i i didn't really understand the context but knowing the context is awesome i also believe that the gamers should have the the financial like um autonomy yeah. to control what what they're doing in fact, Toast is going to be dropping his official roster later uh, today, actually. I think this came out 13 hours ago. So uh, That's pretty fast. That's it's, a big turnaround. It's a pretty big turnaround. Um, but again, I, I'd love to see it. Um, more independent teams popping up and being competitive in the space. I love mm -hmm. that Valorant's taken off, too. It's such a, a baby game. Okay. It, like a fun okay. first-person shooter game. I was. I think it's a you little more thoughts. technical. Please than, share them. Yeah, I'm I think it's way them. more technical than a baby game. Yeah. And I, I think when it comes to like the graphics, maybe y I yeah, could say yeah. like, okay, it, it's very Fortnite-esque. It's I like get yeah, it. exactly, cozy baby game. Yeah. I think a lot of people would say the same about Fortnite. Like, yeah, yeah. it's a baby game, but there's also like a you know strategy, technical, technical yeah, ability, technical totally. process. Let's see it. See, it's not just like super auto pens. Do we know what team Myth is going to go on? Because I'll follow that man. He's going to be coaching. He's coach. Oh, he's coaching. That, that's the whole point about this man. All of those people that I named, they're going to be taking on rosters. They're oh, going to be developing their own it. teams to compete. I in thought the, they were going to be like captains. Or, I, I mean, you know. maybe, okay. maybe some of them might be, but I, I have a feeling a lot of these guys are going to be taking on the administrative approach, a coaching uh, mentor position. I can see um, Myth taking a coaching role. Yeah, he did a good job with Hassan, and no, Hassan's difficult. <laughs> 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 no, that was fun though. Um, man, I still don't have Valorant on my computer. Yet. I don't know. I'm such a bad computer Just person, Apex, dude. Apex, dude. I have, don't think it has anything to do with Apex, man. Okay. It all is about the anti-cheat software, and it says my computer is not uh, like allowing it to be downloaded, and I have to go into my BIOS to allow some sort of system. I don't know. If you know, <laughs> let me know, because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want to know so badly how to do it. Um, my system's capable. I'm just simply not. I'll watch a YouTube video. I got yeah. you. Um, all right. So, um, any, any last final words about this, this Valo, um, kind of development, this development in the zeitgeist of independent, Is you know, Valkyrie creators. Is Valkyrie going to take part in this? I think that well, would Valkyrie be Well, owns a hundred thieves, my friend. So ah, she's on that. it in a whole different, more, you uh -oh. know, 
Yeah, she's on, she's on the company team. side. Yeah, <laughs> she's got her team for okay. sure. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. No worries. Yeah, um, I have a palate cleanser for us though. I don't know if you've seen this. Have you seen this? Oh no, I haven't. Okay, this is a palate cleanser. Beautiful people that are watching this at home or listening in at home. What we're about to see is the Miss World or uh, Miss okay. Universe. It's gonna be cringe. The <laughs> okay, listen. The only like you haven't seen this. The I'm so only excited. pageant content I'm willing to ingest is Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Sandra Bullock, fucking great movie. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Would even go as far to say Miss Congeniality Two was still pretty good. I haven't seen it because and I, I haven't seen it on purpose because I thought it was gonna be shit. Because the, the original, it's you know, pretty good. Me and Nikki have watched the the back to back. Ten out of ten. Well, I don't know. Ten out of ten. That's very generous. Like First one is for sure. <laughs> At least eight and a half out of ten. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay fair, 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 fair. Um. Anyway, a little palate cleanser before we get into some more of the uh, content that we were talking about earlier about well politics. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> but until then, um, let's check out some of the Miss Universe's introductions to themselves. This and, is a Donald well, Trump thing too, right? <laughs> the Miss Universe. Um, this is. This is awesome. I'm going to actually back it up a little bit more here so we can get a real full feel uh, to how some of these girls introduce themselves. So palate cleanser time. Let's go. What did she just say? Yeah. It's their names. Oh. Check my phone. Check my phone. Check my They're saying the country. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Stop, dude. Wait. <laughs> You're being so mean. <laughs> it's their accent, bro. Stop. You're gonna piss off our French fans. <laughs> Frogs. I, I I I apologize on behalf of my co-host. France, we love you. We love your city, Paris. I'm in. It's great. It's great. I'm sorry. It's totally great. I'm sorry. I love. I love. I love France. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. No, you're not sorry. That's okay, though. That's okay. You don't have to be sorry. I don't have to be sorry. Oh, man. Come on. Miss Universe, more like <laughs> Miss. Miss <laughs> Brown. <Frost. laughs> It's so good. And I think we needed that palate cleanser uh, before we jump into some other internet stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Started crossing my legs here. I'm just not as. Not as flexible as i once was back in my heyday okay um so this happened i'm on... reading this tweet and it hurt oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so aiden ross um checking back in with our boys hoping they're okay shouts out to our boys out there um aiden ross you know we was talking to his homie on his, his stream and said some pretty funny stuff now i have a whole arc on how this relates to the politics that i talked about earlier that we will be talking about in just a second so bear with me and it connects <laughs> okay so anyway aiden ross says that is this what were you saying though you were saying some good shit though okay so the average salary is what like a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> This motherfucker said the average salary is one hundred thousand dollars in the United States of America, dude. What? What's the... Did you just hear this motherfucker? What's the average salary? The average salary in the United States is fifty-four thousand one hundred thirty-two dollars a year. Shut the fuck up. Are you fucking crazy? What were you saying? though? you were saying some good shit? Though. Yeah, okay. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Yeah, he's exactly <laughs> right. So obviously Hassan points it out. He's he's about well half off, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two times off. Um, and the way that this relates in into the next story is because this motherfucker. So McCarthy gets voted in. Yeah, he will be making two hundred and twenty three thousand dollars a year, having a health care, unlimited paid leave. Meanwhile, the minimum wage is still seven dollars and twenty five cents. What is uh, uh, unlimited paid leave? What does that mean? It just means that you can leave whenever you want and not have to fear that your paycheck will be any less. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah, it's usually when a company values you, uh, they'll allow you to do that because they know that you're not going to abuse it and only use it when you really need to and, you know, it won't affect your work for the most part. It's just you need to do that so you can come back Bullshit. feeling good. Bullshit. Some <laughs> of these politicians are not using it when they need to. 
<laughs> they're using it when they want to. Oh yeah, because they, they just have it. Who's checking? Who's their Joe Biden is their boss? <laughs> Joe Biden is America. Checking in. Hey, can you send me uh you know your your time off slips? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's not happening, man. Let's um, go, Brandon. So that's unfortunate. Um, so that's that brings us to our next story, right? McCarthy uh, was elected in into the House of Representatives as the Speaker of the House, um, I believe, on January 6th. So uh, did you catch any of the highlights? It sounds like you didn't know that he was actually elected in. Is that right? No, I didn't catch the late highlights, I guess. I caught up when they had the 14th vote. Ah, so I believe that he was finally elected on the 15th or 16th vote. Okay. <laughs> so um, he made it in. So he, he's in and he's going to be making quite a bit of money, more than your average salary for sure. Um, and in his first act of what he wants to do, what the Republican Party wants to galvanize their, their support behind is, well, getting rid of the IRS oh. funds that just took place earlier last year. So McCarthy said after being elected, quote, I know that the night is late, but when we come back, our first bill will repeal the funding for 87,000 new IRS agents. This includes tech and phone support research and admin fun in April, have fun in April. And, you know, this is what he said. And then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the substance. Um, this is going viral, obviously, this morning, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be the first thing that they discuss. So it's an interesting topic that they decided to tackle here. I know the night is late, but when we come back, our very first bill will repeal the funding for 87,000 new hours. <sighs> Look at Marjorie Taylor Greene looking so stoked, dude. Um, so yeah, so he's elected, right? He, he gets, he gets, I'm not even sure they're sworn in, but yeah, his elected, first, huh? <laughs> yeah. elected. so his first order of business is this, is to repeal the IRS funding. And I don't know how much you know about the bill, but it's not going to the new IRS agents necessarily no, it's for the stuff included in the parentheses. It's tech yeah. and phone support and research shit they're working with fucking technology from the 90s also um according to andrew wartmith and again he's posting things from other people so he's just kind of the narrator here but mm -hmm. there's other data embedded in the, in the tweet here but what he's saying is fundamentally you can't repeal it or rescind it because it's already been passed and it's supposed to go out over 10 years so the funding that's already been you know uh slated to to go out is, is supposed to do so over 10 years and it's supposed to help replace agents that are planning to retire too yeah, they're freaking oh so, they, they, he said it too the g the gop is useless <laughs> They don't even understand how shit works. So, yeah, it's really interesting that this is the issue that they wanted to put as their first issue of business. Because if you think about it, part of the reason why we're here also is because the Republican faction that didn't want McCarthy to come into play wanted what? Wanted McCarthy to say, I will not raise the debt ceiling. They wanted America to default on debt. And now they're targeting the IRS. I just think it's a really interesting topic, again, to tackle first. Why not Hunter Biden's dick pics? Where did the, where'd the laptop go? It's all subterfuge. <laughs> it's all subterfuge. They, don't, they, they say one thing, but they're really thinking about another. And, so and their brains are so broken, I can't tell. I can't yeah. tell. So again, this is coming out of the AP now, right? They say, well, this is misleading. The Republican Party wanting to do this. Last year before the bill emerged, the Treasury Department had promised a plan to hire roughly that many IRS employees over the next decade if it got the money. So again, this is what the money is going for. The IRS will be releasing final numbers for its hiring plans in the coming months, according to the Treasury official. But for those employees will not be all hired at the same time and they will not all be auditors. And many will be replacing the employees who are expected to quit or retire, the experts and officials said. Mm -hmm. So not only are they wrong about what the money they think they're trying to take away is going to and helping out with. Um, they're just wrong about how they can do it and the process in which they can do it and this is really interesting again his his final point here is i understand that the gop doesn't think that their base can read and understand the process behind it but i'm pretty sure the irs is targeting those ultra rich people who are avoiding taxes <laughs> totally. so again who are these ultra rich people avoiding taxes that the republicans don't want 
the investigations to take place. Well, interestingly enough, Unusual Whales released the most pol- the most successful politicians in the markets. These are the people in the markets doing the best. And they're profiting a pretty penny uh, against a market that's been down all year. <laughs> so it, I know this chart's kind of like hard to read, but that yellow bar is the SPY, right? So that's going to be your major index that we're benchmarking this against, which mm-hmm. has been really low all year, down, his cataclysmically bad, okay, all year. And down minus 18% is what most portfolios returned. Your average 401k is probably down at least 10%, even if it's very moderately and conservatively invested. Look at the top guys here. We got Debbie Schultz, Patrick Fallon. I'm seeing some names on here that I wasn't expecting. Like, not at the top, but like Marjorie Taylor Greene, fucking Mitch McConnell, Alan Lowenthal, who used to be our representative here in Long Beach. Like, Nancy Pelosi. Like, these are fucking business people. They're supposed to be our politicians. <laughs> but Nancy Pelosi did bad, which is interesting. Uh, and not the point, not the point, not the mm-hmm. point. The point is, though, these people in a, in a terrible year for most of America that are invested in, in 401ks that they think they have any, you know, kind of say in, in investments, these motherfuckers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. These guys are, you know, these are the guys that are going to be most likely avoiding taxes of some sorts, right? And, and not evasion necessarily, but some sort of loophole they're looking to exploit. Mm-hmm. These are the guys the IRS was probably going to be looking at or yeah. at least, you know, targeting um, oh, if they were going to this- be doing due diligence, um, effective taxation on these guys would be, I think, the most practical for America. And is this just what they're reporting? Because, like, Um, I know with Donald Trump, he reports losses so that his taxes don't... So he doesn't get taxed Yeah, unusual whales tracked the buys and sells of stocks, so it's not even, like, based on their tax returns. These are going to be based on trades made. Okay. Um, so that's really, that's publicly available information. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we always make fun of Nancy Pelosi cause she's always making these like inside trading deals. I also just think it's really funny that she did so poorly. She did worse <laughs> than just holding on to the spy. <laughs> like you could have just bought the spy a year ago and held on to that and still beat Nancy Pelosi's investment uh-huh. portfolio. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh man. This was so good. So, yeah, just to recap here, you guys, the Republicans have the House. Their first, um, you know, act is to attack the IRS in their auditing team. And then meanwhile, we have the House reaping benefits of the stock market. So <laughs> it's an interesting play that the Republicans are, are, are choosing to go with here. Hi, yeah, I did. So what do you think about my investigative reporting here? <laughs> um... Good job. Good job. I, I, I hate American politics. <laughs> I hate it so much. All right, no more politics it, like, really, on the pod. It really like breaks my brain. <laughs> but I, I do love it. I do love it. At the same, like I like being informed and being aware. Um, I do kind of like hating on it. Um, mostly because we can laugh at it. And and that's fun, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we can laugh at it. That's for sure. I, it's hilarious, right? I mean, <sighs> see, Sate finds it not funny. Mm-hmm. He doesn't find it funny. It's not funny. <laughs> I, I, I disagree. <laughs> Come here. Why do you find it funny? Um, because if we don't laugh, we cry. Oh, well then, ha ha, ha ha, so funny. I just feel like things could be so different, and yeah, I, they're I, not. I, honestly, I hate when there there's such clear lines of like self interest and in policy making. It's so unfortunate, dude. It's just yeah. like it goes against you know? the narrative that that society creates. Yeah, again, you know, Republicans have the House; they they could do whatever they wanted to do, and it, it sounded like they were going to do some pretty stupid stuff to begin with, and then for them to pull this out of their pocket, right? Like that's oh no. no. Oh no. I don't know why he's pulling out all of our cables today. This anyway, I have another palate cleanser before we say I do. Okay. Um and one it's raise one more. Yeah, it's raise bird today. You Speaking guys Speaking of the Republicans. The Republicans. Stop <laughs> you can't call them that. They're sun rays. Okay, sorry. They're sun rays. Sun rays. We got some fun stuff planned today. That's um, cute. 
Yeah, the Sun Rays are way cuter. And the Sun Rays are going to be celebrating Ray's birthday on a birthday stream. Nice. So that's some fun internet stuff that I'll be looking forward to later today. Um, They'll have a pinata and a magician, a pin the tail on the... Mika? And cake and more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got some pretty good guests, too. You got um, Hassan, Will's going to be there, oh, Luddy, huh? Cutie. You got a lot of good guests coming. So um, hashtag not an ad, just simply something I'm excited for. So... My dog is being needy. We got to go give our dog some love. So with so. that said, we're going to say adieu. Um, we'll see you next week on the pod. Have and a beautiful yeah. morning. It's probably not going to be morning by the time this comes out. It'll be evening. Have a beautiful evening. Afternoon, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> <We're> <laughs> React Lord broadcast. Buddy, stop. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I think he wants the podcast to be over. I think he wants the podcast to be over. Okay. Well then, I'm V. <laughs> I'm V. I'm Nathan. And we're out.